Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners and pay attention folks because today we have a very important video that you need to pay attention to. You need to hear what is going on and what I have found and what is the whole reason behind some of this stuff that I believe is really starting to affect a lot of people. All right, and that's why the name of this video is Prepare Now Before There's Nothing Left. You might as well forget before it's too late. There's nothing left. All right, folks. So listen closely. Follow me. All right. So normally I go to my local Walmart and I do the curbside pickup. I, call, I do the order online. I place it and everything else. Pick my time. I want to pick it up. I show up, put in my little spot that I'm here and they bring it out and put it in my trunk and I drive home. Fine and dandy. All of a sudden now there's so many things that aren't available out of stock. And the new one is not available for curbside pickup. Why? Doesn't make any sense to me. Does that make sense to you? Why, if you have something in the store and, you know, I'm not buying ammo or something here, folks, you know, you're buying food. Why isn't it available for curbside pickup? So I figured, all right, I'll just go to the Walmart today. I'll go inside and I'm going to find out what is going on. Well, I found out what was going on. There's nothing in the stores. The stores are completely ransacked, empty. They have people stocking shelves, but as fast as, and I was talking with one of the guys in there and he was stocking shelves and stuff. And he says, as fast as we put this out, he says, I guarantee you by 11 o'clock, this whole area right here is going to be wiped out, completely gone. So what is going on, folks? This is why it's so very important for you to prepare now before there's nothing left, the time has passed where you have time to sit back and really think about and maybe put a plan together on, all right, I want to make sure that I have uh, 10 cans of green beans, 10 cans of corn, so on and so forth, okay? That time has passed. Now you're getting down to where there isn't much in the stores. To give you a perfect example, the canned good aisle, all right? The canned good aisle was just, it, 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 there was hardly any canned goods. It, I mean, you could have put it all in one little section, but they spread it all out. So there was a total of five flats of green beans. Now, there was two flats of French-style green beans and two flats of cut green beans and one flat of no-salt green beans. All right. Well, now, normally they have this huge section, right? And this was right down to three little things. The only thing that they did have a lot of was corn. The rest of all the vegetables and stuff, if you wanted peas and carrots and spinach and all this other kind of stuff, there was hardly anything on the shelves. They were fronting the shelves. There was no cans behind it. Now, why is this? Number one, they don't have the truck drivers to move all this stuff. And I think the supply is limited and the demand is high. Now, does this mean that maybe more, a lot more people are starting to prep? Maybe a lot more people are starting to see the writing on the wall? Maybe they're not really so sure where we're going with this whole thing. There's a lot of stuff that goes into play with this whole infrastructure bill that they want to do with what's going on with the border. Um, now you got the, the whole uprising with the Cuba thing and they want us to get involved in that and everything else. I mean, I feel bad for the people down there. But, you know, we've got our hands in too many cookie jars and there ain't enough money to go around to do for all this kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they want to pass another $3.5 trillion infrastructure bill, which is probably full of more pork and bacon and pieces and everything else. The actual infrastructure bill is probably, if you're lucky, anywhere between $800 billion to maybe a trillion. I'll give them a little credit here. The rest of it's just a bunch of BS, folks, all right, that who's going to pay for all this? We are, the taxpayers, but they're just going to keep printing all this money. And see, now you got the whole in inflation is really starting to catch up, and now the stock market is really starting to pay close attention. If you noticed on Friday that all of a sudden 
what the stock market went down 200 and some odd points because they're worried about the inflation with you know them wanting to pass another 3.5 trillion dollar bill you know they want you know a couple trillions for this and a couple trillions for that and everything else i think everybody forgot what the letter b stood for anymore or even the letter m and now we just go right to the t you know what's next a gazillion you know i mean <laughs> really come on you know, we're just driving ourselves into debt here. But let's get back to the whole point of this. What's really taking place is, is all these companies and everything, you know, even the gas companies look back on July 4th weekend, you had a lot of gas stations that couldn't get gas because they didn't have truck drivers to bring it to it. You're running into the same situation here. But I think also with everything else that's going on in this, just this country, all right, between all the drought, the mega drought, the mega fires, you know, fields and the farmers and stuff all out west, forget it. They ain't going to have nothing this year. Nothing. So prices are just on the rise. If you're smart, this is what you're going to do. And this is the number one point which you really want to try to make sure that you're doing. All right. You want to make sure that you have some way that you can sustain yourself. Make sure you have seeds or something else where you can plant a garden. Hopefully you live in a place where you can do that because it may come down to that's going to be the only type of vegetables you're going to get is if you can grow them because you won't be able to afford them. And if you do go to the store and find them, you're probably not going to want to buy them because, I mean, I was in Walmart today. I looked up at demand bananas. I mean, the whole thing was full. They're all rotten. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> who's going to buy rotten bananas unless you're making shakes or bread? Um, I don't know. I'm not one of these people that can sit there and eat these uh, totally brown bananas. It just uh, can't go down, you know. Uh, but you can make banana bread and everything else. But the moral of the story, folks, is prepare now before there's nothing left because everything is losing and leaving the stores like hog wild. They can't keep anything in stock. And I think a lot of people are starting to wake up and you might want to make sure that you're one of them because the stores are getting empty. Now I went to a couple of other different stores and they're running into the same type of issues. Only it, difference is, is they do have a little bit more in one of the stores um, but you do pay top dollar for that kind of stuff. So stuff that you can get in Walmart, you're paying double the price in this other store. All right, I would, I did go into a Win Dixie, and you know they have things on the shelves and everything else. Um, not quite the selection. Uh, the same scenario of spreading out things and fronting everything. If you look behind there, there's nothing there. There's a problem in this country, folks. And it's only going to get worse. There's too much going on in this country. And nobody is really paying attention. All they want to worry about is writing these bills for trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars. And we're not really even addressing the main problem. And the main problem here is what's taking place out west. Because in the end... When there's no food left for everybody else, the cattle are going to be dying off or they're going to get caught in the wildfires and burn. You know, the farmers, the farmland out there, don't, they're just all dried up because all the reservoirs from Utah all the way down to Nevada, New Mexico, California, they're all drying up like crazy. Won't be long. Lake Mead is just at record lows. It goes much lower. They're going to be turning off the water and the power. And where does that leave us? What are we going to do? Have a mass exodus from the West Coast and push towards the East Coast? It really doesn't matter at this point in time, folks. The writing's on the wall, and we haven't done anything about it. But we'll keep passing those $3.5 trillion infrastructure bills so that somewhere along the lines, maybe they'll be painting new lines on the roads in your town. Only problem is, is you won't have any gas or anything else to drive. So you'll have something to follow with your bicycle with the little headlight in the front. Think about that for a second, folks. Let that set in. The government is a really hard work for you. The government is doing nothing but screwing all of us, putting us in more debt. And you know what's going to happen? We're the ones that's going to pay the price. So prepare now before there's nothing left. 
that time has already passed us. You're getting down to where there's not a lot in the stores. You need to get out there and get ready now. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Make sure you're doing your part to get out there and get whatever it is that you can, what kind of supplies you can, because the storm is brewing, folks, and it's only a matter of time before you're going to have to make sure that you have your supplies to weather the outcome of this storm. Till next time. I'll catch all of you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.